A warm greeting. Today is Saturday, September 16, 2023. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In this video, I will be providing an update on the cyclonic activity expected over the next few days. First, I wanted to mention that the remnants of what was Hurricane Lee are currently located over Nova Scotia. This system has been causing tropical storm conditions that affected coastal areas of the northeastern United States and Nova Scotia. Fortunately, the reported damage in this area was minor, so Hurricane Lee, during its trajectory, did not cause major inconveniences despite becoming a powerful Category 5 hurricane. On the other hand, we have Tropical Storm Margot, which is located over waters north of the Atlantic and continues to weaken. Over the next few days, it is expected to dissipate without affecting any land areas. Additionally, we have Tropical Depression No. 15, which continues its northwestward trajectory, remaining far away from the Caribbean region. Although it is expected to be classified as Tropical Storm Nigel soon and later as Hurricane Nigel, it currently appears that it will maintain a path over the open waters of the Atlantic without threatening Bermuda. Once again, we have another cyclone moving over the open waters of the Atlantic, which is definitely good news. Here is the latest forecast from the National Hurricane Center in terms of the trajectory. You can see that by Sunday, it is expected to become Tropical Storm Nigel, and as it moves northwestward, it should become a hurricane early next week. Unlike what I showed you yesterday, the cone is now far from Bermuda, so you no longer need to worry about this cyclone. In fact, there has been a significant change in the forecast from the National Hurricane Center. Now, there is a cyclone moving faster towards the northern Atlantic waters. This is because Hurricane Nigel is no longer forecasted to reach major hurricane status, which allows it to move quickly towards the northern Atlantic waters. I mention this because this change in trajectory could have significant implications for the next tropical wave. It may cause the next wave to travel further west than anticipated yesterday. The National Hurricane Center has increased the probability of a tropical depression forming just west of Africa over the next 7 days to 30%. It is very likely that this percentage will continue to increase over the next few days since almost all models predict the development of a tropical depression in approximately 7 days. The only exception is the GFS model, which currently forecasts that the tropical wave will develop very slowly and does not have a tropical depression forming in the next 7 days. In contrast to this, the European model predicts a strong low-pressure system associated with this new tropical wave for the next weekend. Additionally, the UK model also predicts the development of a tropical depression during the next weekend. Other models, like the German model, also have a strong low-pressure system moving near the Cape Verde Islands at the end of next week. The Canadian model predicts a tropical depression or tropical storm near the Cape Verde Islands next weekend. It is highly likely that this probability will increase over the next few days. Now, the question remains whether this future cyclone will have a trajectory over the open waters of the Atlantic or if it could travel further west and threaten the Caribbean region. In recent days, everything seemed to indicate that this future tropical wave would have a trajectory over the open waters of the Atlantic without reaching the Caribbean. However, because this is a long-term forecast with a lot of uncertainty, today we have seen some significant changes. These changes are due to the fact that Hurricane Nigel in the future is expected to move faster. This will allow high pressure to strengthen in the Atlantic, so now it is anticipated that the next tropical wave could travel further west. This trend that we will be closely monitoring over the next few days can be seen in the European model's forecast. For next Wednesday, you can see how Hurricane Nigel is increasingly moving faster northward. This allows the Azores high-pressure system to strengthen more than previously anticipated. A stronger high-pressure system in this area could allow the next tropical wave to travel further west, and we will be paying attention to this over the next few days. However, please remember that this is a long-term forecast, and it is currently impossible to determine with precision whether it will pose a future threat to the Caribbean region. With the trend we have seen today in the models, with a stronger high-pressure system in the Azores for the middle and end of next week, we have seen a response in the ensemble members of the GFS model. Today, more members have the next tropical wave moving further west and perhaps, in the long term, approaching the Northeast Caribbean. However, you can also see that there are other scenarios where it takes a path far from the Caribbean. I want to emphasize that it is currently impossible to determine a precise trajectory because we are talking about 10 to 11 days before this future disturbance could approach the Caribbean region. The most significant change we have seen is in the ensemble members of the European model. Yesterday, almost all of them maintained a trajectory far from the Caribbean region. However, with this stronger high-pressure system, today we have seen that some members have a more westerly trajectory, perhaps approaching the Northeast Caribbean in the long term. Again, we are talking about a forecast approximately 10 days in advance, so significant changes will occur. 
we will only be monitoring the progress of this next tropical wave calmly. At the moment, the ensemble members of the European model maintain a 40-50% to chance of a tropical depression forming halfway between the Caribbean and Africa by next weekend. Additionally, I wanted to mention that for next weekend, we will also be monitoring the area off the southeast coast of the United States. A frontal system will be exiting the United States and could lead to the formation of a low-pressure system east of the state of Florida. Although the National Hurricane Center has not marked this area as an area of interest for cyclonic development at the moment, they may do so in the coming days. Some models, like the European model, develop a tropical cyclone for next weekend near the coasts of Florida, Georgia, and South Carolina. Similarly, the GFS model also predicts a tropical storm developing in this area for next weekend. Well, with that, I bid you farewell. The important thing is that over the next few days, we can rest assured because there is no imminent threat. However, we will be keeping an eye on the area off the southeast coast of the United States and the next tropical wave that could develop, but this would be for next weekend, approximately seven days from now. Well, with that, I bid you farewell, and I hope everyone has an excellent weekend. Goodbye for now.